laughs in my face They say you can't get nowhere Chasing my dreams still In the same room as an infant My vision's so distant Turn paper do, but I got no pieces ah, Torn into pieces I'll be back next weekend صباح بون اكسن قلا بون اكسن ان كيس اي دونت سي يو هاب بون اكسن ليديز اند جنتلمان يو جايز هاف تيوند ان تو انذر ابيسود اوف شاكا شاكا ميد ات يو ميد ات ام ماي نيم از كوين بوك اند ماي كو هوست ار جفار اند بيولر 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 ويز ا كابل اوف بازز ان بيتوين Yes. There you go. So today we're going to be talking about a few current uh, issues that are happening in our community. So let's start off and get into it so you guys don't have to wait. Okay, so I personally have seen an increase in Somali youth, especially the the boys, right? Um in criminal activities. From just like petty theft, it's especially drugs. Like a theft no, has I haven't know, is, is it more? You know, especially now with what kids are on like fucking Facebook and social media. Back in the day, I know was that's where the real G's were. Nowadays, I don't know, but I have seen kids in the news articles. Uh, I don't know about that. There's some crazy wildness going on right now. Yeah, there the kids, really is. Yeah, the, yeah, the kids, look, it, uh, we you see it in you we heard it in Edmonton. Mm-hmm. The amount of young uh, true, young boys true. that are killing each other, true. and it's not like as much as the the media, the mainstream media doesn't say that it's gang violence at times, but majority of the time we know that Farah did not kill Ali because he was just he bumped him in the street. Mm. Farah and Ali were most likely um, part of some type of criminal activity. Yeah, that's true. But then there's always cases where it's like, you know, it's just. Some guys that just lost control that evening, okay, because of drinking or something, and they wild out, and somebody's not around tomorrow. And okay, but do you, just, that person wasn't. Names in, are just trigger happy. Yeah, just yeah. trigger. Happy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm day. saying. Well, and for him to have a trigger, for him to have a trigger, though, he m- must have been in that lifestyle. Yeah, he yeah, was, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, what yeah, I yeah, what yeah, I would yeah, say yeah, about yeah, that yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm what I'm trying to say is that there is it's not. Ali that was working a nine to five and he was it's an accountant. It's never Ali working the nine to five. So it, it, it's it's, nev- you've heard that. Heard yeah, it. of yeah, course. It but it's it never is. is, though. Sometimes there is. What? Sometimes just people get caught in a crossfire. They weren't supposed to be there. Oh, so oh, wrong yeah. time. So wrong yeah. place, wrong time, yeah. right? I yeah. compl- that is that is like a, that's more of the victim, though. Yeah. That's more of the victim. I mean, like in terms of like the shooter or the, the aggressor, it's majority of the time they are part of some type of illegal activity yeah. that that you know put him in that type of situation no, yes you know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah. so there was a story that we we talked about um i heard i think it was like a few a few days ago actually well i i caught up on it a few days ago it was about the two somali teens yeah that killed the the halal um store owner yeah store owner they, yeah they did the robbery and they killed the the three shop workers Within the last few hours, we got our first look at video from inside the Seward Market in South Minneapolis, where three people were gunned down in January of 2010. Last week, a jury convicted 18-year-old Mahdi Ali, relying heavily on that surveillance video. WCCO's Rachel Slavic joins us from the newsroom now, and I know, Rachel, this video was really what got this conviction, right? It was. This video was a key piece of evidence. It not only shows the robbery, but prosecutors are able to prove that the person holding the gun and pulling the trigger was Mahdi Ali. The cameras capture the moments leading into the robbery. The owner and his cousin are in the store when Mahdi Ali walks in with another man, Ahmed Ali, and points a gun at the two. Another camera angle shows the men being told to get on the ground. Moments later, a customer walks in. You also see one of the victims try to run out the door. Less than one minute has gone by, two people have been killed, and Ali has left the store. What the videos give us is a real identification, real time. The owner is then shown making a call, but Ali returns, again, gun in hand. Throughout the robbery, both men had their faces covered, yet it was still crucial evidence to get a conviction. We had it from a number of different angles. From that, we could really tell what happened, uh, and we provided valuable evidence to identify 
both the people who went in. Now, because they did not have their actual faces on camera, prosecutors say the victim's blood on Ali's jeans was another crucial piece of evidence that helped them secure that conviction. Okay, thank you, Rachel. What brings, especially a Somali guy, to be like, out of all the stores to rob, even if I am about this life, I'm going to go into the Somali shop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And rob the Somali guy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And then whatever happened and then he ends up killing three of them but what made him go into that somali shop you know what i mean like I, how bad could have been he could have went to you know a 7-eleven you know what i, I mean i don't know maybe maybe hillary sold really well that week so, no. and they got money in the freaking no, you know i what? don't know these no, things the kids, no they're not no then the kids nowadays are crazier no for sure yeah. That, yeah. All, yeah i think they're uh, so i think they're, so they're, they're ballsier yeah. I think they're ballsier, and I think... They're willing to put it on the line for a lot less. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Before, before it was times where niggas would do some gangster shit no, man, for yo, big chips. No, man. So but, the risk was no, greater, but, Somali, but bigger yeah, rewards. Yeah. No, man, but, but Somali, like, Somali men, it's... Yo, if you look at me the wrong way, you don't even got to say nothing, well, just, just, there's beef. So do you, you, know you think the 17-year-olds... I mean? so you think the there's, had an altercation with the store no. or the store employees and was stupid. like, yo, no. I'm going to rob you? No, 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 no. I think no. they're just stupid. No I'm, no, I'm not talking about this story. I'm just talking about just in general. Yeah. Like Somali men, we have like a, I don't know, like an inferiority problem or like, a, you know what I mean? Small man syndrome. No, it's not even that. I think you know it's superiority. I, mean? I think it's more like, oh, how, this, how can this person look at me? Right? You know what ah, I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. You think you're better than me? Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's well, crazy. Well, well, pow, pow. For no reason. For no reason. Yeah. In a house party with eighty people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's whatever. You're gonna shoot up the whole place. So do you think liquor so hold on, so do you think liquor and drugs are the main factors no, of no, the shooting? You don't know, know this. <laughs> of course it is. A hundred percent. You know this. This happened back home hmm. and they were seventeen. Do you think that the fact that they're seventeen Anybody gives a shit about? No, absolutely home? not. So basically, they're they gonna would, get stoned. They would. They would. Uh, it's gonna be a firing yeah. squad. You know that, right? Yeah. Or it's money. Yeah. It's one of the two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots you know what of I mean? money. Yeah. yeah. Or it's a firing squad. Right. No, 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 but, no, All right. Well, no, I don't. But Bueller, how are they getting there? Like, what at brought the age them to of do seventeen, that? the road should be easy. It should be. You go to school. You go into high school. You're poverty. preparing. You know what I mean? Poverty. Well, poverty? that's what I want to know. Poverty. I want to know where poverty? did the yeah. so hold on. So what kind of family structure did they come from? Mm-hmm. Was there a father in place? Did the mother work? Was there an education? Was there um, were they going to school on a regular basis? What kind of friends did they hang around with? Was there abuse that that they experienced at an early age? Like, look, there's a lot of factors for these kids to turn out the way they do. I, I, I you know what I mean? It depends where if his family is his family structure. So what about if your cousin had a very um, uh, hands-on mother, hands-on father? Education was very important important in the household. Grades were expected to be A's and B's and whatnot. And then the other gentleman, he his father was never home. Mother was a single mom. Was working constantly. Was just basically here's the food, survive and and stay out no, of trouble for God's no. sakes. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so saying. I, I'm not saying it's the neighborhood. All I'm saying is is the you're you're a product of your own environment at times. So that's what what I'm trying to find out, right? Um, so listeners, you guys see the the situation at hand here, and I and I'm I'm sure that you each have um, your own experiences or family members that have gone through some type of. Um, tragedy in terms of like you know a a young a young man living from your household that has turned into that type of behavior or turned into criminal activities uh on his free time whatever the case may be let us know what you guys think uh twitter or even email us at shekoshekko24 at gmail.com i I really want to hear what you guys have to say and also we want to hear your thoughts of what 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 the punishment should be right should we um hopefully take him to maybe even rehab in terms of like um no. i really i really guys what i really i really i really I, anyways i'll leave it up to the listeners you guys i obviously have two against one here you guys tell us what you guys think email us twitter facebook shako shako no spaces even instagram let us know what you guys think uh hit us up Big you up,